What's up? This is me, Sean from TetraDogs.com. You come to the San Pete, and this is um, my first impressions of the Nexus 7. Um, I just ordered it recently. Um, the seller was very good with uh, shipping it to me very, uh, very quickly. Um, it did not come with the box, sadly, but it came with a case, and it also came with the uh, standard charger, which is good. Um, and it was very nicely packaged, um, as as good as you could package it for um, from coming from another uh, private party. Um, it was uh, set together well. Um, the description was that it was very uh, lightly used, and it does look that way. It looks uh, to be in pristine condition. Um, it was, uh, I believe, it was used as a home theater remote, so it was very in very good condition. It's running Android Lollipop. Um, they did, and they also returned the settings to factory settings, so it looks to be in very uh, good condition right now. Um, this is the uh, lock screen of Lollipop, or excuse me, the uh, welcoming screen. So uh, I just set this up a little. I uh, went through a few of the settings. Um, at the top you can see there's the uh, Wi-Fi and the uh, battery indicator. So I have connected to my uh, Wi-Fi network already. Um, it has a lot of different languages and even different dialects in terms of the languages. So you guys can see there here there's English. Um, you can get English from the United States, United Kingdom, India, and Australia. You can get uh, Spanish from Spain and the United States. You can also get um, French from Canada and France. So this is just a bunch of different languages here, but um, and it changes the welcome screen so you can understand what they're saying, as you guys can see here. So I'm just going to uh, select my language here of English and the United States, and I'm going to click continue. Um, it's going to take me to my Wi-Fi screen, which I already did my Wi-Fi uh, logged in. Um, it was checking for an update, so it appears that it's the most up-to-date version of Android right now, so that's good. And it's telling me tap and go, which I believe I can tap my Android device to the back of another Android device to the back of this. And it's going to ask you to unlock the other device. It's going to lock the screen and ask you to unlock. And then accept the conditions, and then it'll be able to sync all the information. But I'm just going to skip that. Um, and it's going to say just a second. And it's going to ask me to add my Google account. So I'm going to enter my Google information. And I'm going to just take this off the screen real quick. Okay, so I just signed in and it's telling me that I need to agree to the terms and information there, the terms and the conditions. So now it's checking the info, just a second, and I believe it's going to let me restore all of my uh, original Android data, hopefully. And um, waiting for this, um, I'm on a decent Wi-Fi connection. So it's saying that uh, it is you set up your device, set up your new device by restoring a backup. Uh, and this is my Galaxy S4. It's wanting to restore the backup from. So I am just going to allow that to happen. And uh, this should take a little while. Um, as you guys can see here, it's allowing me to uh, choose the apps that I want. So I'm going to select, deselect the apps that I don't want to continue, uh, to carry on to this device. And um, I'll get back to you guys. So let me just uh, click the apps real quick. Okay, so I've selected all the applications that uh, I did not want installed. Um, a lot of them are T-Mobile specific, some Samsung, and then also um, some of the apps that use the flash because this device does not have an LED flash, um, they'd be pointless. So I'm just going to click done. And it's going to update. Um, I can pick from a few different backups. Um, my Nexus 4 was on this account, but I uh, recently took it off this account. So um, so I took it off, so it's not on this list. I could also set this up as a new device if I like, if I wanted to, but um, but I think it'd be best if I just restored some of the apps and data that I have on my other phone, um, because I like I actually like the way everything operates and synergy and all that. So I'm just gonna click next, and it's going to tell me um use location services and all that other stuff that's fine and dandy I'll let Google do that and now it's saying restoring and um, if it's installing all the applications this could take a little while so uh, it's 12:37 right now and uh, I'll let you guys know when this process is finished um, I'm obviously gonna have to sit through this but I'm gonna pause the video and uh, cut 
too when this is over so you guys won't have to uh, experience this wait so um, be right back guys okay guys so the uh, process didn't take that long at all it took about five minutes um i doubt if all the applications are installed but um i doubt if all the applications are installed and it doesn't look like it but it looks like um my information is is here and it's uh pretty much just continuing on like uh like nothing happened you know very um it's very good that it can uh synchronize everything very good um so it's telling you telling me that um my google play library is here um so it's placed that on my uh, home screen there um i guess that's standard for the nexus 7 um that's cool don't really need it though um i have a google folder um that it made for me so clearing that um give me a few recommendations um, nothing really there um, and as you guys can see, these are the apps um, that again is showing me. Um, basically, as if I were a novice, um, you know, the whole process of Android and how it works. Um, so, yeah, definitely not my, all my apps are not here. Um, if I click, I was uh, saying that the Play Store, okay, that was kind of weird. It said the Play Store wasn't installed, but it looks like it is. Um, Gonna take this off a little bit. Okay, as you guys can see here, you do have the uh, the controls of Lollipop down there. Um, so I would like to drill into my apps. So I'm just gonna click the selector here, go to my apps, and it'll sh it should show me what I have installed on the device and what's still installing. As you guys can see up here in the top corner in the notification panel, a lot of applications are. Uh, are the applications are still installing as you guys can see right right there um, so as you guys can see here it's downloading a lot of applications um, none of them are installed um, this one's about to get installed um, so it does not appear to be in alphabetical order um, these are the applications that have been installed and um, these are the applications that I believe either got updated or excuse me the applications that need me to manually update them so uh and these are the ones that recently got update updated so it's probably gonna take a little while but uh everything seems to be working good right now um i can show you guys which version of android it is running one minute please um just going to drill into my settings go to a about device about tablet and it is running Android 5.1.1, which I believe at this time is currently the newest version of Android, latest version of Android to be released. So that's a good, that's a positive, at least um, it came ready. I'm just going to click it. You get your little Easter egg here. Um, it's a little lollipop for Android lollipop. And if you hold it, you get a uh, sort of, excuse me, if you tap it, you get sort of a Flappy Birds-esque game. After you tap it a while, or is it a hold down? It's my bad, it's a long press, I'm sorry. Um, then you get this little Flappy Bird game. Oops. Try to get one here. It's kind of hard playing off the screen, not looking at the actual screen itself. Uh. Okay, so you guys get the picture. I'm not the greatest at this game at all. But, uh... It's a little bit harder trying to play through a screen as opposed to just looking. Wow, I'm pretty bad at this game. Well, it's a good thing this app review is not based off of my performance on this game. Because I'm just stinking it up. There we go. Okay, so this is the uh, Nexus 7. This is my first look impression. Um, everything appears to be going smooth. Um, my apps are installing. Um, like I said, I got a great, uh, got a pretty decent deal. I wouldn't call it a great deal. Or I wouldn't call it one of the, the best deals that I've seen. 
out there for it, but I got a pretty good deal on it nonetheless, and I'm very happy with uh, how it's going so far. So anyways, guys, this is me, Sean, from TechJoyDoys.com, YouTube comes to SMP, and this is my first impressions of the Google Nexus 7 2013 tablet. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave comment, leave them in the comments. Uh, be sure to tell your friends and to, excuse me, and to favorite and subscribe if you guys like the video. And um, I hope that you guys have a nice day. Thank you.